Hi, thanks for checking out Parse Greek, the Greek parsing app for iDevices for people learning New Testament Greek. So this is the opening page, and we're going to look at how to study by frequency. So you see the word frequencies there, and for instance, once I choose Luo, you can study all by Luo. You see the number in the top corner for the words that would be selected. So if I choose this frequency range, you see the numbers change. So I'm going to choose just the one here, and so we have 384 words. And then we can narrow our word types down further to nouns, verbs, etc. So if I choose verbs and indicative verbs, there's our number. Now in the bottom, this is to further refine our quiz. So do you want to repeat incorrect answers if you get them wrong? Do you want it to mix so that it's not alphabetical, it's random? How many times do you want to require the correct answer? And do you want to require the lexical form? So we're going to keep it as is now, and we'll change one next time to see how it changes. So going on here, this is the quiz page. As you can see, you have your different aspects of how you would have to parse something. Clicking hint on a word like this would give you a hint for the verb as well as principal parts. So the hint will show you the principal parts for every verb in this database. So once I know that, I would choose my correct answers. Now getting down to the dial at the bottom, this is if I have to choose my lexical forms, which I have set up in the previous window. You'll notice that I can't check the answer until I choose the correct lexical form. So once I do choose the correct lexical form, then I can check the rest of my answer. And you'll be awarded if you're correct, and I have a count for correct and incorrect at the bottom. And I also provide the meaning of the lexical form at the bottom as well to help with retention of vocabulary. Let's go back to the criteria page for setting up a new test because I want to show you how I've built in compatibility with introductory grammars. What I've done is I've taken the database and I've made sure that I know what words are introduced in particular chapters of those introductory grammars as well as the grammar concepts that you learn. So if you learn first declension nouns in one chapter, third declension nouns in another, etc. I've collated that. And so for instance if we look at mounts and I wanted to say I only want to learn uh, vocabulary, chapter 6 vocabulary, and cha chapter 6 grammar stuff, and quiz me on that. And so we're going to choose that. We're also going to say that I want to require correct answers twice at the bottom, and this time I do not want to require the lexical form, and then I would start the quiz. And so we have 25 words um, all together, and so this first word is our article. And so choosing that, I can check it, simple enough. For our next noun here, agapain, if I click hint this time, because it's a noun, it's going to give me what declension it is. But if you still need more help, notice the question mark at the top right corner. Clicking that is going to bring up some paradigm tables for you. So you can help yourself out there if you still can't recall what it is. I recover all of the declensions as well as indicative verb endings, your verb um, indicative formations, subjunctive and imperative, participles and infinitives, and all that good stuff. So going back to the test here, this time I'm going to answer incorrectly. Once I check my answer, you're awarded with an X, and it goes into the count and I wanted to help you learn from your mistakes so I show you specifically what you got wrong and also you can click that little red X beside what you did get wrong to know what the correct answer is. Thanks for checking out Parse Greek. I sincerely hope it helps you in the study of New Testament Greek.